Hey, Flora, it's L A P T H E F L O R A. That's a Deputy Commanding General, United States Army Africa. So the um, the reason uh, we're here as as part of the um, medical exercise uh, 2019 with the uh, Senegalese um, military uh, medical po uh, profession. Uh, part of uh, of what we're doing here is really work together to to share best practices. Uh, definitely, we have a, uh, we have some method, a unique way of uh, of doing thing. But at the same time, they also have the unique way of doing thing in a very austere environment. So definitely something that we can learn from them. So, well, I, I think it will um, definitely benefit our partner here uh, because they can learn some of the the new techniques, if you will, that our surgeons and nurses and doctors use back in the state. Right, and at the same time, you know, we learn a whole lot from them as well. Some of the uh, the environment here definitely not what we used to back uh, at home. So, uh, so how do they able to do all this, what they do here in such a a, a very rough uh, environment? So uh, something that we can learn uh, from them. But I think they definitely can learn a great deal uh, from us, different uh, procedures and different methods. And and uh, and, uh, and so far, what who that I talked to, they seem like been very. Uh, very positive and very grateful for the opportunity. Perfect. And as you're aware of the lines of effort, I'm going to ask you uh, what lines of effort is uh, the medical readiness exercise focused on for mm -hmm. U.S. Army? Africa? I think it's focused on all line of effort number one, which is really is uh, uh, to 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 enhance our uh, not only the the, uh, the 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 networking partner partnership, and the line of effort number two is building our partner capacities. Uh, we definitely want to. Uh, we have been coming back here every year, and we will hopefully to continue to coming back every year to to uh, to really build up their not only build up their capacity. I mean the capability, but also help build up their capacity as well, so they can really do a lot of this uh, on their own, which is they already have. Maintaining the, from 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 our military personnel, uh, not only when you come here, you have to do a uh, deploy and reploy that that themselves as a, a building readiness and when you go into an environment like this you able to observe and see cases that you normally probably do not see back home so you're learning as we um, we uh, our, our um, medical uh, prof professional uh, come in here they learn many of the procedures and cases that probably we have not seen for for decades you know so they are learning new um, I would say a procedure, not only the a procedure, but il uh, illnesses and things like that. So definitely, and at the same time, they also have the opportunity to actually hands-on operate and work on uh, the patient here. So that they, they're not just here to, uh, to talk about what they're doing, they're actually hands-on uh, experience. And, um, and, and, and I think that, that itself is, uh, is really building uh, the readiness. To strengthen the partner capacity, is they, they know that we can share our best practices with them. So once they can learn of, of what we do and, and, and what we learn from them, and they can you know, uh, learn our best uh, practices, they can I implement that into their uh, procedure. So, so that should build up their own uh, capacities. Well, you're looking at um, my understanding here for talking to uh, the official here is that over 50%, up to 80% of the patients here are civilian. So, so when you have our soldiers, our surgeons, and, and our nurses have the opportunity to interact, not only work side by side with the counterpart here in uh, Senegal, but also have the opportunity to really interact with the local populations. And uh, so it's, uh, when you come here to do work, it's not just business, just not operating room, um, but at, at the same time, you're building personal uh, relationships, but also spread the, the, uh, the uh, I would say, the goodwill to the general population here in, uh, in Senegal. When we're talking about um, shared best practices, right, as uh, you and I witnessed the, uh, the, uh, the operating room of a gentleman that had, um, you can call that a, a brain tumor or, or, or a, a tumor that is the size of a, a tennis ball, or around his neck, and and to see two different surgeons discuss the procedure, how best to remove that. Uh, um, uh, I would say the the uh, the tumor is that 
right there, the dialogue between back and forth between the two surgeons, that itself is sharing best practices as they discuss the method, they discuss the strategy, how to go about remove this tum uh, tumor without damage, his nerves and, and, and things like that. So, so you actually see the real exchange of knowledge and, and benefit each other just right there in the operating room. And, and, uh, and they're going to be doing that for the next two weeks. So, you are, so there's a tremendous amount of opportunity to be readiness. So it's all right there. You know, you, you, you talk about knowledge exchange and, and best practices. All these things save lives. Then we, of course, very, very grateful for the, uh, for the opportunity uh, and, and for our hosts here. They are very, very kind uh, to us and very welcome, uh, very warm and, and uh, hospitable, you know, to, to us here. So we are very grateful for that, you know. So we hope to have uh, the opportunity coming back next year again.